Good morning, everybody. Hello. It's a beautiful day on the hillside, and I'm really happy to be here. I'm going to do a little bit of day eight. I'm very behind. We had visitors on the weekend, so that took me away from my craft room craft studio. Um, I've moved up here now and we'll see how this goes. So today's prompt for day eight is to, well, let's just check. I'm trying to go by my memory and it is a beads and a postage stamp dangle. So what, what I did was I found an old necklace that I've just sort of taken apart. I still have the clasp on this part. I think that'll be my dangle. <clears throat> and I don't really have a theme going on here. Um, this looks very pretty and romantic, but I think it'll just go with whatever. Um, I don't know how I'm going to affix this dangle yet. I think I want it on the inside. I, th I wasn't sure. Could go on the outside. It probably will go on the outside. I was thinking though, if it goes on the inside, I had this strip of um, just kind of wipe up fabric material that I could glue in here and then I could um, put this on. So we'll see about that. I've also got a couple of postage stamps, vintage ones. Well, I don't know if they're vintage. They're, uh, they're international. Stuck one on the page and I have these two that I put onto cardboard. So we'll see how, I'll put some holes in there. I have a uh, an old, old punch with the eyelets. I also have a couple of images that I've cut out. I did this circle sewing, free flow sewing, sewing sorry, from um, Luisa's uh, tutorial and that was really fun to do so we'll try that we'll see how that one works out oh my goodness the moment you have to break into some new glue I'm so happy <laughs> I don't know what it is but I just love getting something new out of the package so my other uh, the Aileen's tacky the clear tacky I finished it and now I'm going to go on to the scotch create glue stick so we'll Use that one up. Still thinking about what I'm going to do next. I did poke a hole in this one. Now I think I'll poke a hole over here. And this way. No, this way. I really don't know which way. I'll go like this. And then I have to get the eyelets out. This is a tool that was in my my childhood home <laughs> sewing room. And it's a bit bumpy there, I'll have to flatten that out. But I you still use it. I don't have a crocodile. I've been thinking about getting one, but I just haven't done it because I guess I'm still satisfied with the way this one works out. There we go, let's see. Okay, and I also stamped the back of these <clears throat> with a stamp that I created. It's one of those self-inking ones. Oh, I figured why not? I'll just, then I can use it all the time. I just want to try something different. There you go. Yeah, I should do my nails, but <laughs> just want to see how this works.
everything's an experiment. Everything is for fun. Well, for me, it is. That's what I like about this form of art slash memory keeping. It's so fun. Wow, it's so beautiful today. The sun is shining. But I can't hang out my clothes because we have a we have an outdoor wood boiler that heats our house so and it's situated on the north side of our property and my clothesline is on the south side of the property and it always seems that the smoke goes towards the south therefore I can't hang out my clothes in the winter otherwise they'll be very smoky smelling so I use the uh, the old-fashioned way and I just kind of hang up my clothes it's just the two of us now so it's not that bad and I actually hung up the clothes when the kids were little too just very very easy to do for me I love laundry too and I don't know what I'm going to do with this I'm going to have to put oh yeah Wait for that to dry. I also have this bag of tea and coffee dyed fabric that I had put in here. Oh, not this one. Oh, and some leather too. Yeah, that's right. I had cut up some old leather. Uh, we had a sofa. <laughs> that's a story. We had a sofa that was very tired. Um, the springs were gone. Would have needed some really um, extensive work to bring it back to life. But the leather on it was still very amazing. So what I did, and this is all when we were moving, and so I harvested all the leather. This is obviously a little strip, but I harvested a lot of the leather. And because I knew I could use it for different things, as you do, and I'm very happy that I did because I've actually used it on a few little things um, for decor and just for making different items. So this is my bag of goodies here. I think I'm going to choose an actual piece of um, fabric like this for the middle. I just have to find this. Find, oh, here's one. Yeah, something like that I think I want to do. I'll put this away for now. I'm telling you though, you take start taking everything out to work on a project and it kind of gets a little a little messy in here. But better here than the dining room table. <laughs> so I don't have to carry it back back and forth. And I think this is gonna be too well, not that I think, I know it's gonna be too wide. So that is all. That's easy. Save that. Cut this in half. Oh, I love that sound. Amazing. Really satisfying. Love the fraying. There's not too many things I don't like about this. All right, I think I like that. Yeah, I can. I don't have to see the whole stamp. I'm just talking this through. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue that down. Um, let's use some actual Elmer's right now. I've been thinking about how or why am I making this channel? Why am I doing this? I think it's just for fun, for experimentation. 
to, as I have been very much influenced by wonderful artists of all levels, of all, um, you know, all kinds of artists, mixed media, sewists, just anybody that's involved in creative, in a creative outlet. And I believe we all have a creative outlet. It was just how we use it. Anyway, I was influenced and I thought, well, I'd like to document this for myself for later. I know our journals are documentation also, but some of them are um, just very private, I guess. Not that I'm going to show, but just a fun little extension of this form of memory keeping. The other thing too is I really do like to um, encourage others. I think we're just all encouragers of one sort of or another. And this is a great way to have people see others making art, not being afraid to take a chance just to try something. It's not going to please everybody. It's not going to be the, we're not all going to make things that everybody likes, but that's all right because it is for us. It's for, for me. And I don't, uh, really don't mind or care <laughs> if anybody else doesn't like it. And I do like to try things. I like to try things a lot. Oh, I do like that. And then I can hang. I can sort of dig in here after and make a hole. I should have done that first. I should have done that first, but I didn't. Is this shiny at all? Oh, it's a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. It's not overly shiny. I don't know if anybody can see that. A little bit oh yeah there by the, the window yay for windows yay for sunlight I will do one fiddly attachment here small jump ring but <clears throat> I'm making it work I'll have to take Maybe take another one from here. This uh, pink container is from my mom's sewing room. And I grew up with that and wow, the memories that are Incredible. I'm really happy to have it. Okay. There we go. There, just like that. Let's see. <laughs> there. I mean, this journal is going to be, oh, it's gonna be fine. It's nice and crunchy and soft anyway. I'm gonna to have to figure out what to do with the front. I keep looking at it, but nothing's come to me yet. But it will. Okay, I like that. And we'll put the second one on. Up here. Okay. 
I have put an eyelet in this strip of fabric and added some dangles. I wasn't sure how to do this, so, you know, I'm just kind of playing and going along. And then I think this will work here if I can just attach that. And I have my dangle. Here it is. Oh, that's not on yet. Let that dry. And then I'll finish the page and I'll show you later. Thank you. Oh yeah, I think I'll check it off the list. Beads and postage stamp dangle, all done. On to the next.